You are listening to FTNS, world's first fitness radio, online at FTNS.co. The Body Shop connects you with the hottest fitness models in the world. Learn the backstage secrets that the most successful bikini divas, fitness models, and bodybuilders use to dominate their competition and land on the covers of magazines. Only here at The Body Shop will we allow you to listen and talk to the best of the best in fitness competitions. Ladies and gentlemen, I am your host, Andre Brick St. Clair. Thank you for allowing me into the airways with The Body Shop. If you are passionate about bodybuilding and fitness, then you've found a new home. All of us here at FTNS Radio would like to welcome you to the body shop. Now, my normal co-host Brian Canone is actually on vacation, so I have with me in the studio today the wonderful, most spectacular, <laughs> the one and only, the one and only Miss Lorianne Marchese. <laughs> What's up? What's up, Lorianne? And also, I have an additional co-host. She is training for the upcoming Fitness Atlantic competition, April 16th at the Oakdale Theater. I have Miss Allison Genovese. Hey, hey, hey. What's up, Allison? What's up? How's everything going? Eh, so far, so good. Can't complain yourself. You know how I do, man. You know, I'm just here at the body shop trying to make it happen, you know, trying to give our fans something, you know, something great for them to listen to. So now, how's the training going? It's intense, I have to tell you. Although I do have the best trainer in the world, so, plug, you know. Plug, 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 Oh, plug. don't make my head get so big now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so walk us through what a typical training session is like as um, you're roughly about seven weeks out. Well, I train uh, pretty intense, about uh, hardcore three days a week. Um, our workouts are very intense. Very you intense. Say it. <laughs> very intense. I'm, tr- I'm trying to be nice here. Very intense. Um, they're, they're a lot military style uh, workout. So it's a lot of quantity, fast paced, no breaks, and no know, talking. No talking. <laughs> Trainer in the face yelling at you to get it done. It's very, very intense. And your trainer happens to be the lovely Miss Lorianne Marchese. Oh, yeah. When I tell them it's time to train. It's time to train. Stop complaining and start training. There's no talking. You got to focus and you got to get it done. You got to get it done. That's so right, hopefully, Allison. you know, the end result will probably be you winning the trophy. Uh, that's what I'm hoping for. All right. And then, you know, eventually, you know, probably making your way on a couple of magazine covers or something like that. You know, maybe shooting some photo shoots. I'm in doing some photo shoots now. So um, hopefully that'll continue. But maybe one day on the cover, uh, you know, uh, she's my inspiration. So hopefully... All right, all right. Well, you know, Lorian has actually made, you know, quite an impact within the fitness industry. Landed herself a couple of, uh, you know, photo shoots and, 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 and shot with some great people. I did, and um, actually, we had one today. I had a photo shoot, and it went awesome. Really, 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 really good, and I'm sure we can get one for her, too. Nice. Well, since we're on the topic of photo shoots and modeling agencies... Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to welcome to the body shop, the CEO and president of Silver Model Agency. Please welcome Mr. Adam Silver. Adam, what's up, man? How you doing? Good. How are you? Uh, you know, man, I'm just trying to make it do what it do down here at the body shop, you know? <laughs> hey, Adam, I got a question for you. All right, so we're just going to start it off with, with a couple rapid fire questions, and then we're just going to ease back into a normal transition. Is that cool with you? Uh, that's fine with me. All right, cool. First question is, how did you actually get started in in the model agency? Well, um, I kind of went uh, a, a different route than, than the typical agent would go. Um, most agents would probably start off in the mailroom of Ford or um, IMG and kind of work their way up. Um, there weren't all that many you know, sports and athletic agencies around when I got into this a little over 10 years ago. And uh, for the most part, um, I started my agency online. And uh, I literally worked out of my home uh, initially. 
And uh, it wasn't until after the first year that I actually opened up my first office. So um, I started off online, started to get uh, some great clients. I started off with muscle and fitness and um, uh, the magazines, basically, and started off from an editorial standpoint and mm -hmm. built my business up from there. Hmm, interested. So when you started out online, what kind of software were you using? Because it's, it's not as if you can just, you know, go on Google and say, start a modeling agency. <laughs> right. I actually um, built it from the ground up myself. Um, literally, I, I basically have a little bit of a background in web development. And um, I, I was designing and developing web pages all the way back in mm, 1992. Uh, which is, you know, I had access to the Internet at right. the University of Maryland. So I built it myself, and uh, I basically hired a graphic artist to do the graphics for me, uh, since I'm not much of a graphics guy. Okay. Uh, I'm kind of more of a technical person. All right. So now, where are you located now? Uh, right now, uh, I'm in Manhattan, New York City. Mm, very nice. So you're actually local for some of our Connecticut listeners, um, New York listeners, our Philadelphia listeners. You're really not that far. No, no, not at all. You know, I, I have people come down from Connecticut all the time. And, um, you know, for the, for the most part, I would say that the majority of our, the models we work with are out of the New York City region. Um, we do have some people in L.A., some people in Miami, and a couple people scattered throughout the U.S. And... Um, but, you know, the majority of people are here. Hmm. So you're worldwide. So, I kind of like that. I kind of uh, like that. Not, not quite worldwide, Deb. We're, we're getting there, though. Hey, you <laughs> know what? Aim big, brother. Aim big. <laughs> okay, so when you say you got models that's, you know, coming in from New York, some coming in from Connecticut, so on and so forth, what exactly do you look for in a typical model or even in a not-so-typical model? Like, for someone that has your type of eye, what is it that you're looking for? Well, we're obviously looking for good looks, and, and that includes the following. That includes a great face as well as a great body. A lot of people think that just getting into fitness modeling, you know, if you have a great body, you can do it. And it's just not that easy. You have to be able to appeal to customers uh, or clients. And um, the, the other component to that is personality. You know, the person has to be energetic and open and um, fun to work with. These people, uh, you know, require that. The people, you know, the casting directors involved and the um, art directors, the, you know, CEOs of companies, the marketing people. You know, they want to be able to work with people that are easy to work mm. with and look great. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, mm -hmm. let's say somebody submits a picture to you, okay? And you think, okay, they have potential, maybe if they competed a little bit more, got their body more so in shape, um, but they're insistent that you submit their pictures for a magazine cover. Like, how do you handle that type of request? Mm. Okay. Um, I'm, one thing I, I want to touch on right before I get into that is that you'll probably notice I didn't say much about height. Mm -hmm. um, and in my part of the business versus, say, the, the high fashion industry, height is not as big of a, of a requirement. And so I, I do have girls that work with me that are as short as, like, 5'3". And, um, uh, you know, girls or guys as tall or as short as 5'6". So um, that's just one thing. When it comes to somebody, like, submitting their stuff to us and they want to have a cover, to be honest... I'm pretty straightforward with people. <laughs> if I think that I can market their look, I'm, I'm very straightforward, and I say, great, let's, let's get started. Um, if they're not right, if they don't have the face I feel like I can market, I'm pretty honest with them about it. If, if you're not honest with them and you beat around the bush, they're just going to keep coming back and asking and asking and asking. And um, the thing is is that you only have so much time, and my time has to be spent um, dedicated to the models that I'm working with, that I'm working for, I mean, I'm, I'm basically working for these people, and, um, you know, the clients on the other end, you know, the Under Armors and Reeboks, and uh, that's where my time has to be spent. You know, we, obviously we scout, um, and we look at new faces all the time, but uh, we have to be straightforward and honest with these people, and if they just, they, they just don't have a look that we feel we can market, we have to be 
straight up honest with them. This is a very subjective business. And, you know, I may say to one person, eh, I don't think so. And then another agency will come along and say, oh, you're great. You're just what we need. And, you know, it's just, uh, it's, it's a subjective business. Okay. With it being so subjective, um, earlier you mentioned clients like Reebok and Under Armour. But what are some of your top clients? Because some of our listeners here at the body shop may be wondering, okay, you know what, this guy is 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 putting out a lot of information, but who will actually get my photos? So what are some of your top clients? Okay. Um, we have a wide range of clients, a wide range. You know, I listed a couple sports clients first. Um, Under Armour and Nike and Reebok um, are regular clients of ours. Um you know, we work with uh, some of the supplement companies like BSN and Gaspari and MuscleTech, Metrex, GNC. Um, but we also work with MAC Cosmetics. Um, we've done L'Oreal. Um, I booked uh, one of my guys on a major fragrance campaign for uh, Terry Mugler. Um, so Panasonic, uh, Verizon, um, a lot of different clients, and um, Gillette, a great client too. The, the thing is, is that you know, you might think, well, why Verizon or Microsoft? Microsoft is another client we just worked with recently. Um, they actually will look for some of our types of people. They will look for people that are in very good shape, handsome or beautiful, and um, fit. Mm-hmm. Um, not, I'm not talking bodybuilders. I'm talking, you know, fitness models or, you know, strong commercial models. Mm, okay. So, um, yeah. So and and we, we don't just do print. We, we do a lot of TV and film projects as well. So, um, yeah, we, we can kind of go into that as well if you'd like to. Oh, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I mean, okay, because the average aspiring fitness model might might just be like, okay, you know what, I just want to shoot and land a cover of a magazine but if you're getting into more more television and more commercial work then that's actually be a great thing for you to just you know talk about and then uh i want laurian to uh actually um ask a couple of questions um sure i just have a question what is the best way f- oh yeah press that button <laughs> um what is like the best way to get started Hold on a second. She's she's not on. Um, Lorian well, wants to know I like. Heard Lori Ann. Oh, okay, okay. Lorian asked, um, you know, how, how do you get started? Yes. Right. Right. Yes. Okay. And and basically, the, the the thing is is that a lot of people think, oh, I got to go out and spend a crap load of money on getting amazing photos. Right. The first thing you do is you literally take snapshots of yourself. Have a friend of yours or you know a family member take some really good pictures of your face smiling and not smiling Mm -hmm. and then if you're a female you want to take um, pictures of yourself in a sports bra and shorts from the front from the back from the side um, so that we can see your um, abdominals your legs your face and uh, they should just be clear but they don't have to be professional Um, so that's the very first thing and then you can actually start submitting to you know agencies like me um, and you could also even submit to some of the magazines. Magazines are generally where you want to start. Editorials are generally the first thing, um, the, the first types of jobs that you book. And that's so that you can build up your portfolio. Um, actually, let me take one step back. Okay. And the first thing we usually do is we set our people up with um, photographers to do test shoots. And from those test shoots, we send submit to the magazines. The magazines often will also want to accompany those photos with snapshots, um, and that's mainly because the uh, photographers will often use you know, Photoshop or something to touch up people. So the snapshots are there to show what the person looks like untouched up, and also their current condition. Okay. If they have abs, and you know, they're so- in shape. So once um, we send you like like those photos, how long do you think it usually takes for you to actually get back to um, to a person? Hmm. You know what we do is we try and gather up everything um, a couple times a week because we get so many submissions. We get literally hundreds of submissions a week, 
And that can be pretty daunting to a smaller company like ours. You know, we only have three managers here. Mm. And, um, you know, basically with hundreds of people, you know, there are, we basically have a form letter if, if they're not, you know, the type of model that we feel we can work with, they basically just get a form letter, you know, stating that they're just not, not right for us. Um, but for the most part, if you're right for us, you're going to get a call within a day or so. A okay. Day or two. And then, um, so. after you send them that formal, um, letter, um, you basically call them and then you invite them back to your studio and then you set up a photo shoot with them. Is that like usually the next step well, for them? Actually, um, we don't have a photo studio and we're not photographers. <laughs> no, I, no, sorry. I actually meant like your, um, you're making a what we do have. I mean, I, I know where you're going with that. Yeah. L um, yeah. Like, like your studio where you actually have all your, all your, you know, like all your, um, clients come and meet with yeah, you we, basically. We have an office that we have our, our main office in, in Manhattan, and we have people come up over here to, to meet with us here so we can see them in person and talk to them. And um, then we basically will, if, if they're a good fit for us, we would send them to a few different photographers that they can get some great test shots with. And the photographers all charge their own rates. And, um, you know, for the most part, you know, you work that out with the photographer most of the time. Um, they give agency rates, so it's much lower than if you went to the photographer on your own without Right, agency. right. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here at the Body Shop, right now we have Adam Silver of Model Silver, uh, is it Model Silver? Silver Model Management. Silver Model Management. Management. Now, Adam, exact, uh, how can people find you? Well, an easy way, of course, is to go online to silvermodels.com. Mm -hmm. um, that's an easy way to, you know, check out, um, some of our models and some of the work that we do. Um, you, you, we're right in Manhattan. We're at 630 uh, 9th Avenue, Suite 1401, New York, New York, 10036. There you go. And and uh, our phone number is 212-966-1717. We do prefer the people um, email submissions to newfaces at silvermodels.com. Newfaces at silvermodels.com. Okay. Yeah. And that information is generally on our website. Very good. All right. Now, Adam, I do got to take a quick break. But when I come back, what I want to know is, one, where are most jobs located? And what kind of opportunity is there for a model? Also, do they go into it mainly full-time or is it just a hobby? But well, we'll get back to that right after we pay these bills. So, ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned to The Body Shop. We'll be right back with Adam Silver. <laughs> 